worry and fear has been seething in the little Massachusetts colony village of Salem. Since spring, several villagers there have faced trial for witchcraft. Hello, hello, everybody. I am Johnny Christ, and this is Drinks with Johnny Live. Thank you. Thank you all for checking out the show. And today I'm a I'm joined again by my co-host and good friend, Slim Bob. How are you doing over there today, bud? All right, well, you know, he doesn't say I have much to say, but you could tell by that shirt he's really excited for our next guest to come on out here and talk. Um, would you say you're excited over there? Yeah, he's a big Hocus Pocus fan, so we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're all excited to have our guest on here in a minute. Um, quickly, I just want to say, <laughs> quickly I just want to say um, thank you all for checking in on the show um, it's been a wonderful experience doing this live setup and attempting to make it look good um, you know uh, so thank you all so much for checking out give me a reason to clean up a little bit throw a shirt on I won't talk about what I'm wearing behind the bar though um, and a more sincere thank you to all the essential workers and frontliners helping us stay safe, healthy, and well-fed in these uh, trying times. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything on the intro. I think my, my director's having a little tough time running the things right now. <laughs> so, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just, we'll just roll with it. Um, without further ado, I want to bring on our guest, of the evening, the very talented actress. You know her from Hocus Pocus, American Beauty, and most recently, The Walking Dead, Miss Dora Birch. You're on now, I think. How you doing? Hi! Hey! Hello. Good to see you. Thanks for doing the show. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. I love your setup back there. It's, it's looking spiffy and clean. You don't have to maintain any more than that, I don't think. It's the apocalypse, after yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, yeah, I'm not even wearing pants. On the bottom okay. half. Like, Either, yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah. the ammo. I mean, you, you might throw on some underwear occasionally, but you know, that we're, nice we're all chair. at home. Yeah, we're all at home. <laughs> um, so, real quick before we get into this drink that we've been talking about, um, I have to ask you get it out of the way. It's a whole thing. Everyone, I'm sure, has asked you a bunch. Of, um, but what was it like being in the "Eat You Alive" Limp Biscuit video? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was. Uh, that was a, a weird one. I mean. Um, I guess when I first heard about the idea of me doing a, a, a video for, for them, you know, at the time, it was like, yeah, cool. But then I didn't really know too much of the song or, or what his idea for the video was going to be. So I just kind of like agreed to it before knowing <laughs> all of the, <laughs> the facts and details. But um, I would say that Bill Paxton was a perk. So that okay. having there him in the, as a little cameo towards the end there was uh, the highlight of it for me. So <laughs> Very cool. So... Um, we've been texting back and forth a little bit before the, this show. I wanted to do something a little different with the drinks while everyone's on quarantine, can't get out to the stores as much. So we kind of, I just wanted to hear what you had on hand for a drink idea. And uh, I texted you the ingredients. I'm, I'm about to show you how you, to go down. You texted me some. I'm still in the dark about what I'll be skewering. But let me tell oh, yeah. you, this uh, <laughs> Onion infused vodka <laughs> stunk up my entire refrigerator. It, it I apologize. I, 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 you you got to cover it. You gotta... No, no, no. It's my husband's fault. He chopped like a whole fucking half or a whole onion and no. put it in like just a little bit of vodka. So, and you know, we tried like just a little, little sip of it a little bit earlier. And, and I don't, I, we're not going to kiss for like another year and a half. <laughs> it's fucking rank. But <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, but I got some lemons. As if I don't know how that would work, but I, I basically just have. You have all the all the ingredients I told you to have on hand, and then I'll walk you through. So this this drink is kind of a spinoff of a Bloody Mary, um, and we're gonna call it something different, something in an homage to your recent character on The Walking Dead. We're gonna call nice. it the Crying Mary. Oh, <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. All right. So you got your. Uh, do you have a mixing glass, a pint glass of some kind? Awesome. Very cool. So obviously the first ingredient is what you just talked about, the vodka that we infused with onions. So that was, that was an Look interesting thing. Look at all thing. those, that's like a lot of onions in yeah, there. Yeah, I, so. I got mine there too. 
So you're gonna take like a two ounce pour. You're gonna sift it out if you can. If you get a little onion in there, that's cool. I just but... eyeball it if you don't mind. Yeah, no, I'll do that too. You know what? Just make sure you get at least two, two shots. Sure. Two shots plus of the of the stinky vodka. All right, I'll I think I think that that's about all I can handle of this. Yeah, I want a little more. Come on. The, the, I'm no the great part about this story is that. I haven't tried this either yet. We're about to find Woo! out. Yeah, it's potent. It's potent. <laughs> All right, now you got your soy sauce over there? Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's soy sauce! Garçon! <laughs> Garçon! Garçon, soy sauce! <laughs> oh, he's the worst! Hold on. Okay. <laughs> well, Thor is going to go heading over there. You can see on this camera, uh, camera two, Brando, the ingredients that are going to go into this drink. Uh, we got. Soy sauce, Tabasco, oh God, Bloody Mary mix, uh, lime flavored soda. All right, here lime. we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you're going to take a dash of your soy sauce just right sure. in there. Whoa, that was more than a dash. <laughs> you got to open it. I got it. Oh, now you. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been married? I know it's fairly recent. A year in right? three months. So it's just you two at the house right now? Yeah, That's and the awesome. dog, the new dog. The dog? Oh, right. what kind of dog? Dash. All right, there we go. All oh, right, yeah. and the hot sauce next. Oh, hot okay. sauce. We need a couple dashes hot of sauce. the hot sauce. Okay. If you like it spicy, give it a little extra. Sir, I I'm into I'm into a little heat. Okay. So. And then after you get those That's three ingredients okay. in, you're gonna grab some ice, and that's gonna go right into your mixing glass. Okay, it's some ice, a little bit of ice. Which probably a good amount, actually. actually. A little bit of cold water, probably fine. Fill it, fill it pretty good with some ice. Don't put it in here. And then, after you got that going, you're gonna add your Bloody Mary mix. Which Bloody Mary mix do you have over there, Dora? Uh, it's gone. It's he gone. drank the rest of it last night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna make this drink. Then. <laughs> it's okay. I don't we know, were, you got I tomato go juice or something? Later, but then I got caught up in some other meetings. So I mean, okay. you know, little meetings, whatever. But anyway, oh, you know what? We'll just make this an adventure. This is looking yeah. Without the Bloody Mary mix, I don't know what like this is going to be like. This is looking like a whisper drink if I've ever seen one. Yeah, after. it totally is. So I'm going to add the Bloody Mix Zing Zing that I have. Get that pretty close to the top, and then we're going to stir that up. Let it get all over the place. Okay, That's thank right. You. All right. After you stirred it up I a little, little bit. Little stir here. All right. Do you have uh, your lime soda water? Uh, no, I just added regular water. Okay. Well, I, I got lime flavored soda water. It's actually a white. Oh claw. yeah, the white claw. Those are good. Yeah. Adds a little extra to it. Now, if you got your lemon, you're just gonna get a wedge yep, out of got it. Got the lemon. I don't oh, know if you've already cut this. it, but you can get, oh yeah, there you go. Throw that in there. That's, right. that's perfect. Here Little clamato will be perfect. Awesome. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. And lemon. Okay. Whoa. You're going to take Wave. your lemon and just get, get a good wedge out of it. I have like this. Half perfect. Of, that's yeah. perfect. It doesn't look pretty, but it'll get the job done. And then you're going to skew that lemon just like this, Dora. Okay. And if you can, skew one of the chunks of onion from the vodka. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Yes, and I gotta get an onion piece out of the jar. Oh yeah, it's fun to try too. Okay, cool. How am I gonna get it out? Just get in there. Use your hands. It's all good. <laughs> we all wash our hands. Everyone, make sure you're washing your hands out there. By the way. Okay, here we go. All right, squeeze all a little right, of that I'll, lemon I'll in there on the this. garnish. Come Drop on. that in there. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare! I see that. I'm so glad this is live. I see the <laughs> difficulty you're having in putting together this, this cocktail. Wonderful cocktail. <laughs> okay. Clearly, I have many years of experience being a bartender. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh wow. Well, you should, yeah, at the end of it, have something that looks something like this. Here what do go. you got? It fell. That's okay. You got something that looks, yeah, that's that's pretty good right there. You did a great job. Now I haven't tried this either. Let's let's see what happens. The crying Mary. I'll let, I'll let you know. I don't know. 
I, I got to admit, my, I don't know what yours tastes like, but, but on my end, it's pretty good. Oh, shit. Not bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. The quarantine okay. Bloody Mary known as the Crying Mary. Absolutely. I pulled it off with the help of my wife. I'm uh, super impressed. I, I thought for sure I might have to hurl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not going to have to blow chunks today. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'll finish it. I yeah, will yeah. finish it. Yeah. I, I'm actually going to finish mine, too. The, the real test is if you're going to eat any of the onion on the garnish. That's going to be yeah, the I'd do test. it right now. Okay. Let me, let, me, let me see what that right is. Now. Let me see. If that's a challenge. There we go. Challenge. Oh, that? Now I need another drink. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, obviously, we're, we're hanging out virtually. Everyone's on quarantine right now. Um, yeah. we, we've talked uh, about doing this show for a little while now, and we just figured, hey, let's just do a live one real quick. Um, yeah. Still looking forward to having you down the line where we could do a, a deeper dive into your career. Absolutely. So I just want to touch on a couple things here. Obviously, I got to talk about The Walking Dead. Um, mm -hmm. You are recently on there, your, your character Gamma was recently uh, taken off like, right in the midst of this quarantine. I know because I've been watching every week as many Thank of you. them at home. Um, I just wondered how much notice does the crew of The Walking Dead get for when you're going to be written off the show? Uh, you know, there are levels, right? There are tiers of being included in the information um, you know, obviously because certain departments have to work on things well in advance from shooting the episode. So some people know things, other people don't, but the vibe on the set is like, if you feel that you're ta in a conversation with an actor, a crew member or something, and you're about to say something that you shouldn't be some saying, you immediately do a check-in. Like, wait, am I allowed to, to, do you know anything about this or do you not know? Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, you can okay. never, so communication on the set is hard, but, um, Going into it, I knew that they had a very specific idea for the arc of the character, and they told me about two-thirds of what that arc would be, and then they let me just wait to find out until we were actually filming, you know, the, 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 the big finale of, 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 of Mary Gamma. Which was a great, um, out of all the characters that have, have you know, gone on this show, I, I thought that was an absolute great way to send off Gamma, uh, Mary. Uh, the real cool thing that I that I thought about your character was you're one of the rare uh, actresses that was able to play uh, multi facets with their character. You were a good, you were on the good side, you were on the bad side. You ended as a zombie. You had an epic right. uh, hero way of going out. Um, yeah. What was some of the challenges and some of the things that you were just super stoked when you got that script and you're like, oh, this is going to be really fun for me. My final zombie kills, uh, knife, you know, the, the, the training with the knife a little bit. And I mean, not on the level that the, the pros have, have like the people like Norman and Jeffrey Dean and all, and you know, some of the, the great characters of the show, they've been there forever. And obviously they, they do a lot more of the action stuff, but um, I was very excited to finally be in the thick of it. And, and just to see that Mary came full circle and you know, sometimes people ask, like, well, what, what was she? Was she Mary or was she Gamma? And the answer for me always was both. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, and, and, and so she, she, she does have this capability to be incredibly uh, powerful and strong and make awful decisions uh, <laughs> at, at a um, minute. We're all about here at, at the same time, she's got that internal heart. She, she loved her sister. It's about her nephew. Mm -hmm. And um, so she finally gets a little bit of closure, uh, not the, probably what she was looking for, but I think just enough for her to, to have, you know, made peace with, with herself enough. And, yeah. you know, her nephew is safe, so. Yeah, that's the. Or that's, she knows. And yeah, so that. Yeah, and that's the, that's the hero send-off there. Right. Yeah, yeah. But within the moral compass of the whole show, she had to go. Like, yeah. She had were to. you were you were you a fan of the show before you got the role, or had you heard much about it? To be honest, or were you uh, just kind of like a lot about it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> but I had not. You know, I when I when I signed on for it, I I immediately started watching yeah. from the very beginning. So yeah, it's and I, and it, it sucked me in. It's 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 a rabbit hole. I heard at the beginning they were doing a zombie school. Did you had to graduate from that zombie school before you were able to turn into a zombie at the end there? 
I'm not from, I'm not sure. I hadn't heard okay. about the zombie school, but I do know that I did really, really well on the zombie, like physicality of it all. I could not groan or do the. So was that done in post? Yeah, yeah somebody else had to do that. <laughs> I tried because I wanted to, yeah. but it just sounded like a baby gurgling. I don't know. <laughs> it, just, like, it didn't That's work. Awesome. So I was like, let a professional zombie yeah. Or well, do that's, this, that's, please. I mean, well, I don't want to for take all of us watching it. from them, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, for all of us watching at home, it was it was it was perfect. So, cheers. I'm glad you cheers enjoyed it. It was cheers a lot of fun. That. Absolutely. Mm. A couple more quick things on that, and then we'll move on. But uh, uh, what? Who did you connect with on the set the most? Was there somebody, any of the actors or or even crew guys? Like who who was it? that you connected with uh, on your time um, on the show, I guess? And well, the crew, are, the, the crew are the true rock stars of that show. The conditions, the hours. Uh, it's one of the most intense gigs I've, I've ever seen or been a part of. And, and if it was intense for us as actors, imagine what it is for, you know, the camera crew, the together. sound editing, and everybody. Also, the set is so large and massive that everything is a, a quarter mile a walk away from from something else so just it, uh the logistics of the set are are intense and so you you bond with so many different people um i loved working with an, a, a bunch of the different directors that came in greg nicotero great guy wonderful personality michael cudlitz you know had been on the show obviously turned out a great episode and um yeah there's the the one guy if i had to give a shout out to um from from the walking dead would be uh our base camp runner landon he okay. is, uh, he's a very interesting character. Uh, he it never, ever, ever does not have a smile on his face, even when he's got, like, you know, <laughs> moth things, lights though. all over him or, you know, <laughs> wasp things, you know. But, um, yeah, he's just always super, and he's a real fan of the show. And he's, uh, for, for all of the actors and a lot of the crew that have to check in every morning at base camp, he's, he's a welcome sight every morning and a, a nice send-off at night. So, yeah, yeah, thank you, Landon. You're the best. Shout out to Landon. Yeah, we've got a few crew members like that in uh, in my camp out on the road that you just you have to see every day to make it to make it through. Jason Barry, here, that guy. Um, <laughs> uh, the other thing, um, what what was it like getting in costume for these roles? I know you had the mask most of the time while, while you're whisper. Yeah. But I mean, did you just show up dirty like that and they're like perfect, <laughs> or did they have to? <laughs> well, at the end of the How day, there's a little bit take? of a debate as to whether you should actually shower or not. Because, like, what would be the point? Especially if you're just going to wake up and get called to set and they're going to put more conditioner in your hair. I mean, you know, but it's just, like, it's just more a matter of getting back to human. But um, I actually like the process of getting ready every morning because it was just fun. Like, yeah, throw more dirt, more blood. Was her shirt that dirty before? Doesn't matter. Put some more on there. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. It's just, like, it's the least glamorous show Ever and because of that, it's just like the pressure is off. You know, I'm just wearing baggy pants, like two layers of shirts, and just like, yeah, whatever. It's so it's nice kind of like it's kind of like a now. About, yeah, <laughs> kind of. It's kind of right. like now where we're, right. we're actually you know, I was there's a lot of wearing parallels. more clothes in hotter weather. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny because it, like it's just ironic, I guess, in a way that we're you were just on a show that has uh, apocalyptic parallels to i mean we're not turning into zombies or anything people but i mean there's there's that kind of vibe it's, going on yeah i know it's funny because when i walked the dog i actually they gave me a nice little hoodie season 10 hoodie nice. as a wrap gift and uh I, I i wear it when i walk the dog and uh also, my birthday had, had had been right before this kind of all went down, oh. and uh, so I kind of won the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you got you got that sense. The level off. of attention I was getting was like all the way up here, and I'm like, <laughs> and the world ends. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So yeah. what? I mean, what have you been doing to pass the time since? I mean, you you had your birthday, obviously. That was great. Yeah. You got you're one of the ones that got to celebrate it. I got a lot of friends who are. Happy Not birthday! Really? Right I mean, that you... oh, that went. That was the same day that the Tom and Rita scare started. Oh, yeah, you know. Gotcha. So like, here in LA, I don't know what what it was like for a lot of other people. I'm sure, but but here in LA, that was when a lot of people, especially within the industry, were just like, "Wait, what? Oh, it's oh, yeah. real!" You know, and and so uh, it, you know, thankfully they're okay and everything, and and that's all that's all fine and well. But yeah, it's it. it we went through. The, the, the fear went through a lot of anxiety about like, mm -hmm. you know, what the future is. And now I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to see that 
whisper of a light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully so. I think, you know, the one good thing will be that um, now that everyone has absolutely seen everything, when things go back to normal, the demand for content will be through the roof and hey, we'll all be back in business, right? So yeah. that's, that's, that's how good. I'm choosing to look at it. But yeah, a lot of bad reality TV, but a lot of good stuff too. Wait, a lot wait, of wait, what, what's the bad reality TV? Have you watched like, uh, Love is like, Blind? It's all bad. Like they're all like, <laughs> I can't pick, like whatever the worst one is, is the best one. Yeah. So you can't, you can't really go wrong, but uh, yeah, I, I would say it's a tie for me between the circle and 90 day Beyonce. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe the circle, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I might be too old for that. I don't know. Like, it's <laughs> did you check out though the, the the Tiger King and Love Is Blind on Netflix? Oh, sure, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Absolutely. You're you're a sensible person. Yeah. Everybody was saying, <laughs> <laughs> check those out. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do? I, I know that uh, I heard you like to play silly games. So what, have, have you picked yeah. up any new games on your phone or anything? I've slacked off on the games a little bit just because I'm um, still trying to pretend like, you know, I'm reading things and doing important work. So, um, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't know like, which game. I like Verge Dra Like, I'm lame. I, I used to be a good gamer, you know, like a PS4 girl, Call of wow. Duty. Um, what were the other ones? Uh, the Drake series, Uncharted, the Uncharted okay. series, all of those. I liked a lot of those. And then sometime after uh, The Last of Us, I kind of just tapered off. Red Redemption almost got me to go back. Okay. But I couldn't make it because something with the horse and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a horse problem. Like, okay. How many bears do I have to go kill before I can do something cool? Um, so that was that. But now it's just like, yeah, match three games, you know, just anything just to pass like the time for 20 minutes here or there, you know. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so, you like games. I think I have uh, a silly game my, my producer put together. I heard that you went through law school but never took the bar. Correct. And I wanted to see, kind of test your knowledge here. Or actually, he hasn't sent that to me yet, apparently. Oh. Sam, send it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> What area of law? Let me start looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You got your books out. Yeah. No, uh, so did you, you, you went to uh, law school? Didn't take the bar. Do you regret oh, not? Oh, just to be, just to be totally, totally on uh, on board. I did not get my JD. I, it, I did all the four years of pre law, but okay. I did graduate some law day. So. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that that deserves an applause right there. You can't hear it, but I've got uh, some sound effects over here. I'm running. Um, so, do you regret not taking the bar, though? Um, yes, only because it would have been a, a really great challenge, like one of those lifetime challenges thing, even if I had made the decision, which I, clearly I did, that I, eventually I just wanted to get back to storytelling because I thought that that was the best use of my life. Um, I, 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 I thought that it would have been a nice thing to just say that, you know what, I could, I did it, you know, yeah. because it is insanely difficult in California as you know, is one of the toughest states, uh, California and uh, uh, Louisiana, because they have a, the, the French code down there. But um, oh, I didn't their, system, their system is completely different. Yeah. So, but uh, but it would have been it would have been nice. But at the same time, it would have taken so much energy and brain power. I'd rather use whatever I have left going for me <laughs> to uh, tell great stories and and be there for the fans because they've always been there for me and. Yes. Uh, yeah, so people love my work, so I should keep doing it, you know? Yeah, no, that, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've enjoyed a lot of things that you've been in. I mean, American Beauty, Hocus Pocus, of course, Walking Dead. There's so many other that I, again, I can't wait to dive into sure. a little bit of a deeper conversation we can have in the future. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of regrets, though, is there any roles that you passed on that you look back at now and you're like, man, I really should have taken that role? Hmm. Uh, you know, there were a, a, a few roles that uh, I thought maybe once I saw the, the finished work, I was like, oh, wow, I didn't, I hadn't read it like that. Or I didn't mm -hmm. think that that type of thing could be done with that specific character. But as far as being like, man, I really wish I had had a shot at playing blah, blah, blah. I can't really say that any one particular role like that stands out only because I know how how difficult it is to to when you get something really juicy. I know the the pressure and the love and the care and the passion that it takes, and uh, to 
to go push yourself, you know. And so I say if somebody else has that feeling about a role and they're able to do that, then who am I to, you know, try to take it away from them? That's cool. That's a cool. Yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Was so was I, okay. I have to get into it. My wife, many women, and many just people in general out there would fucking kill me if I didn't talk a little bit about Hocus Pocus. Okay. There's. I'll just briefly talk about that one too. There's. Uh, there's rumors. I don't know if you've heard of uh, a sequel possibly being made. Have you, you? You look like you've heard about this. Is there? I've, you I've heard about it for like five years. I, I, <laughs> I, I, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, but you I, haven't. You haven't I'm gotten any scripts. You haven't gotten any scripts sent your way. I've heard some things. I haven't seen anything on the on the written page. I've heard some things. I've seen there, there was a book that had some ideas that that people were playing around with for a little while that was really good. But I don't know. All I know is that around the same time every year, wonder what time that would be, uh, they <laughs> like to say that they're going to do a sequel, and I, I don't know. Well, so we'll see. Would I'm you excited be down about for something concept. like that. For sure, of course. Oh, cool. I'd be there in a hot second, you know, yeah. depending on what they would want to do with Danny or if it would be something different, whatever. But I'm completely down for the the concept of you know just a HP two. That would be great, but. I mean, as far as what's really going on, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, speaking of what's going on right now, I finally got these questions. Are you ready to play the law game? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I just had a laugh track. Okay. So the, the, the gist of this uh, game, we'll call it, because I okay. don't really know what you win. You just win pride, I guess, or something. Uh, if you have to, I'm going to give you a... a a law, and you have to tell me if it's illegal or or, or if, if the law is illegal. Yeah, yeah. If it, if it's true or false, basically. Oh, if it's a real law or not. It's a real law or not. Yeah. So the first one we'll start with is. Uh, hold on, you just messed with me. Poaching a Sasquatch in at least two Washington counties. <laughs> uh, that's oh, the question. Is it, is it oh, is it illegal to poach? <laughs> yeah, poaching to Sasquatch in at least two in Washington, Washington counties. In Washington, now it depends on what the definition of a Sasquatch would be. That's mm, that's the, the key oh, element. Okay. Right now, so, it, to define for me what what the Sasquatch is, and maybe. Maybe we. Oh, we'll skip that here. one because I don't know. I mean, a Bigfoot, I guess. <laughs> I get well. So it it. It depends on which counties in Washington. <laughs> I might believe it. <laughs> but it, in at least two, is there at, at least, least two? No, it would have to be at least two. You okay, can't yeah, you one got county that one right. out there no, acting. Ding, she got that one right. In Texas, you can send someone to get married in your place as long as you have all the right documentation. You can send someone. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I guess the questions are: Are they legal or illegal to do these things? So in Texas. Is it legal or illegal to have someone in your uh, to have someone in your place still be getting married? As so, long like, as we're getting married in the living room, and as long as the paperwork is there, it's all good. That's that's what the question is. No, <laughs> it's like you have a stand-in at the at the ceremony. Oh. I mean, I don't think there's a law about that, but it should be definitely against the law. <laughs> it is legal in the state of oh! Texas. <laughs> Texas. Uh, so we'll just do a couple more of these because uh, I didn't really prep this right anyway. <laughs> in Wyoming, purchasing scrap metals, rubber, rags, or paper from an intoxicated person, is it legal or illegal? Oh, like a drunk person? Yeah, intoxicated. Yeah, totally yeah. legal. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh no, it is no? illegal in the state of uh, Wyoming. I don't know every state law. <laughs> hey, you said you wanted to play the game. And if I don't you know. take the bar, it's only for the state. If you take the bar, it's only for the state. You haven't asked me a single thing about California. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if you even put one. Okay, all right. Drive without shoes in California. Legal or illegal to drive without shoes on in California? I'm going to say illegal. I don't know why, but I'm going to say illegal. <laughs> it's 
you might think that, but you'd be wrong. It's legal to do. <laughs> oh, and I was going to rule the world. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this one is uh, legal or illegal. Children trick or treating outside the hours of six to eight on Halloween. Uh, it must be must take place on the evening of October thirty first. Is that? <laughs> Damn it, Sam! That one doesn't even make sense. No, he's saying it's like, is it possible to trick or treat yeah. on any other day other yes. than Halloween? Yes. Is it legal or illegal to trick or treat on any other day? I'm gonna say it's legal, but it, it just doesn't. It's not a thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> illegal actually to trick or treat unless oh, on. it's on Halloween. No. Unless Halloween falls on a Sunday. I don't know why. In that case, it must take place on the evening of. October 31st, I believe, is what he said. And was it Sunday? Are you a fan of Halloween, by the way? Oh, big time. Awesome. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love working on Hocus Pocus, even as a 10 year It's always been my favorite holiday. Always. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine too. That's where yeah. you can't see him, but I got my skeleton Slim Bob out from. Nice. Uh, for, I got, I always throw a big Halloween party every year. I'll send you the invite for that. I actually one. keep a couple of Halloween decorations up like throughout the whole year just because just because I like it aesthetically. Yeah, it just, just, like, it just makes lot, everything like awesome. Like a couple of people like I have the Dia de los Muertos bride and groom. That's always the statuette, that's always around. And then I got this ghost like guy. He's supposed to go whoo, but he doesn't <laughs> do that, but I just have him hanging in the guest the guest bedroom to fuck with people. That's rad. <laughs> so yeah. you, the guests come over and they get scared by that guy. That's fucking rad. I love that. I love that. Only um, if you get up in the middle of the night and they're like trying to go to the bathroom and they're like, wait, what? Ah! That's, that's <laughs> what we're going for, really. Yeah. I love that. So right, we're going to open up into some Q&A. I got some questions from the fans, the audience out there for both of us, I hope. And, no legal uh, questions. No obviously. legal questions. We're done with that. We're done with that. The hard hitting legal questions are gone. But before that, I wanted to ask about your production company where you're, that you've started and yeah. the direction of di directing that you're heading. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I, maybe yeah, maybe you should be the one doing HB2. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I mean, mine would be not PG <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, so you're saying it wouldn't end up on Disney Plus. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some other Disney-owned company. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> No, uh, yeah, so the production company, I've, I've produced like, two small independent films already, and um, and now I've, I've got a couple of things that I've optioned. I've got one that's in a place where it's out to companies to see their uh, interest level that, that with the, the intention would be that I would direct it. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what goes, what, what goes forward. I mean, I think now, like I said, uh, you know, when things finally start returning to yeah. whatever the new normal is going to be, um, we have no idea. Um, things are things are looking up. Things are look like I said. I won the apocalypse, so we'll see. Right? <laughs> yep, I, I believe you did. So again, I want to thank you for for being on. We'll we'll do these fan questions now. Um, and again, so nice to finally actually meet you. And you too, I, man. I hope I hope it was it, it was fun for you, so that we oh, can a do yeah, a sure, yeah. do a deeper dive next time. And I can, no, we will I can get next time thing. for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Count me in. All right, so we got some uh, fan questions. Let me just read off a couple of them here. Uh, the Drinks with Johnny fan page is where this one came from. Who okay. is the actor, actress from uh, The Walking Dead that Thora would like to work with again and why? Oh, uh, a JDM, Jeffrey D. Moore, because we didn't have any scenes together. And, and that was the one thing that kind of, um, you know, it was kind of a bummer because I remember when I had the initial call with Angela Kang about the character and the arc and the story, I was kind of already you know, asking, like, so, we're going to have any Negan Gamma moments? And she, like, kind of flirted with, yeah, maybe, you know, I think a couple. And then, so, I was, like, every episode, I was kind of looking forward to that, and they never really, they never really came about. But, uh, yeah, I just like messing with him. Like, I just, like, <laughs> cutting the rug with him, so, you know. Yeah, oh, that's great. Was, was but there... Norman, Norman was great. Norman was great. Aaron Ross uh, was great. Uh, Christian Rosita was great. So nice. everyone was. The cast is wonderful. Cassidy, the, the the Lydia. Oh my God, she is a ball of energy. Like she is Rad. just living cocaine. Seriously, she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> not that I know what that would be no, like. Of course, of course not course that not. I would know. No, no, you oh. never. No. No, actually, no, not really. Oh, okay. Well, 
We'll, we'll talk about that again. Yeah. Um, Silly Millie 94 wants to know, does Thora have any tattoos? If so, which is your favorite? I have one. Uh, okay. I want one more. And But then I hear that this is a slippery slope type of situation. Like when she, it's just, it's yeah, out. You end up, you end up looking like it's a on my foot. It's on my foot. Here, let's see if you can see it. Oh, yeah. A little hourglass. It. Yeah, but it's like, it's, um, there's no, it's all straight lines. But yeah, yeah. so that's, so that's the one, and then I want to get an outline of a penguin on my rib. Why a penguin? Oh, it's my husband's nickname. Oh, okay, that's cute. That's very cute. You guys know each other. You've only been married for a little over a year. You said you've known each other for a while. Three months, but we were we've been together just under five years. Oh, okay. So you yeah. so you're getting along in the quarantine with each yeah, other. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we're one of maybe twenty couples in the whole country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like <laughs> all of my friends, all of his friends. They're just that, you know. And, but I think part of it is, and I don't want to, you know. Listen, everybody loves kids. I love kids, but I think it's it's really tough when you know, when, when you add that into the mix. Oh, yeah. So I yes. understand. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one three-year-old. and uh, Aww, it's girl, to boy. Boy. Nice. He's, awesome. he, he's, he's absolutely awesome for the most part, but anybody yeah, yeah, who's yeah. been around a three-year-old knows that's Oh, give him, give him 15 years. He'll, he'll, yeah. he'll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, X Forever Avenged X. Just before her demise, I was beginning to ship Mary and Aiden. Who would have shipped with her? So I don't know if you know what shipped means. I... We had to look it up. It's apparently uh, developing a romantic relationship oh, right. of some kind. Well, but the character of Aaron is is gay, correct? Mary and Aiden. Oh, Wait. Aiden. Aiden, yeah. Aiden, is that uh, Callum? Is that? I, th I think so. I guess Aiden is Callum, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I could. Okay, I could see that. Yeah, prop. I mean, maybe. Yeah. You know, is there anybody I that you would have? Like to create a romantic like scene? Like to see Gamma with? Yes, Gamma. Not, not you personally. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Jeez, um, uh, I don't know. I think she's going to need a, like, a lot of just continued alone time for a yeah. while. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, I would put, just because why not, you know, I would put her with, I would put her with um, Daryl. Okay. Oh. I, would, okay. I mean, yeah, Norman, yeah, I would put her with, with Daryl. That's that's a good. I mean, I think I think all the characters would love to be. Also, she's a little bit of a social climber. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kari T C. Which of her Thor uh, characters was the most difficult to play, and why? This small indie film that no one's ever seen. It's called Dark Corners, yeah. and it was a dual role. I had to play this person that the main character was dreaming themselves as being and uh, it was a really quick shoot and it was a lot of makeup and hair turnarounds and the, the looks were incredibly different and it was like a weird psycho thriller ab about a, a, a psychologist who was was murdering these women and anyway wow. it, 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 the, the, the plot was a little but but the technicalities of the dual role and the, the time and constraints that we had uh, were made it one of the more challenging but I can't really say because there's challenging things about different roles different yeah yeah, so I, but if I had to say the most, maybe that was, but there's always, there's elements to everything that's, that that's can probably be, keeps you doing yeah. it too. That's, it's, it's fun to take on those challenges, right? Yeah, because most of it is, and every different, pro, every project is different. And like, you could say always that like two thirds of it is by the book, standard, technical, know what I'm doing. And then there's always another third where you're like, well, this is new. I don't know mm. how I'm going to handle this type of situation or those moments or you know even the the experience of the production itself so there's always something that that kind of throws you for a loop and that that keeps it interesting it keeps it exciting and it, it keeps you sharp yeah I, that, I, I, there's some similarities like that in the, in the profession that I do in, in playing in, I'm in sure I'm sure a, yeah. lot of, a lot of the times when you're making new material when you're doing things you want to challenge yourself you want it to be something that you can't actually play and you have to learn how to play. Yeah. So it keeps the yeah. challenges up. Again, sure. thank you so we'll much. I think we're good with the questions for now. Okay, um, great. Everybody head over to drinkswithjohnny.com for more and make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, all those fun, hit the bell notifications. I got more guests coming up. Thank you again so much, Thor. This has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Johnny. And thanks for uh, 
having it's this actually experimental really good. Drink I'm gonna finish me. it right now. All right. <laughs> All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody at home. Thank you cheers. so much. All right. uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.